Welcome back to the channel. If you like making money in crypto, smash that thumbs up button. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up PancakeSwap with Binance Smart Chain. With this method, you're able to get hard to reach cryptos like SafeMoon before they hit the big exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. Getting these tokens before they hit the mainstream exchanges could set you up to make a lot of money in the future. Let's hop into this video and I'll show you exactly how it's done right now. Another cool side note is not only are you able to buy SafeMoon, but you're able to buy other sweet tokens and actually stake them on PancakeSwap to make annual returns and interest on anything that you stake on that platform. Plus, every resource and link you might need to complete any of the steps mentioned in the video will be seen down below in the description. And guys, I took a lot of time out of my day to make this tutorial for you guys in an effort to hopefully make you a ton of money in the future. So please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more how to make money online videos where I cover everything from cryptocurrency to Amazon FBA. So I wanna make this tutorial as quick and simple as possible for you guys. Of course, this is not financial advice and there is an inherent risk when investing in any of these speculative assets, but there's also a lot of upside. So that's why I'm bringing this to you today. Now the place we're gonna to go to buy SafeMoon and actually many other cool assets like Cake is gonna be PancakeSwap. Now you can see over here on the left-hand side, there's a trade column where you can exchange a ton of different cryptos here. I can show you a little bit about PancakeSwap before we jump into the full tutorial, but you can come in and exchange pretty much BNB, which is a Binance Smart Chain token, which is what PancakeSwap runs on. And that's a lot more cost effective than if you're using Uniswap and Ethereum to make any transactions. I was trying to buy some Dogelon Mars, the new Elon Dogecoin token, and it was literally $200 for a transaction fee. When we're buying on PancakeSwap, it's literally pennies, okay? So that's really cool. You can already see I have a balance of SafeMoon here, but you can buy any of these other DeFi coins right in here. So that's a little look at the exchange. Another cool thing, and I actually bought some Cake, which is PancakeSwap's main token, which you can see actually right in the lower corner here, this is the price of it right now. I was able to buy that here on the PancakeSwap exchange and then stake it in a syrup pool. So I know it sounds all crazy, but I actually staked 16.7 cake in here and APY, that means in one year, my interest will compound up to 140%. Now this is all subject to change depending on what time you look at this, but you can come take a look at the syrup pools and really PancakeSwap is taken off as a really cool decentralized exchange platform. So every day I can come in here and see how much cake I've earned. I've earned 0.06 cake so far, that's pretty cool. And if I wanna buy more cake, I can always just add it right in here. I can say buy cake and I've even turned on my auto feature so every time I actually earn some cake which it just had some a second ago it will automatically get transferred into my total cake assets here and continually start compounding so that's really cool but you guys are here for the safe moon tutorial and we can pop right in here to the exchange now one of the things that makes this difficult is that you have to use the Binance coin to actually buy your safe moon so I'll show you how to get that as well Another thing before we get that far is we actually need to get you a MetaMask. If you already have this, you can skip this step. So this is like a wallet that will hold all your Binance coin, your BNB. It'll hold your SafeMoon and any other tokens you wanna add in here, you can. Now to get your MetaMask, you can simply type in MetaMask here on Google. Come down to press MetaMask Chrome extension. Make sure you're using the Google Chrome browser when you get this and you can simply add it to your Google Chrome extensions. For me on my Macintosh, I can press on this puzzle piece icon, scroll down to see all my extensions. I see MetaMask right there and I'll just pin that to my main bar here. So you can see it pops up. Now when you click on it for the first time, there may be a series of setup steps where it asks you a couple questions. Just make sure you fill all those in. Shouldn't be too hard to get that set up. Also, when you first get it set up, it's gonna be on the Ethereum mainnet. Now since we're using PancakeSwap, which corresponds with Binance instead of Ethereum, we have to add in a custom RPC. Now that sounds crazy, but essentially all it is is setting up a new wallet address. And I've already done it here. You can see I have a Binance Smart Chain address right in here. So I can click that and it will switch from my Ethereum mainnet to my Binance Smart Chain asset portfolio right here. So to get this custom RPC, you will just click on your MetaMask, come down to where it says custom RPC. Now I've already done most of the hard work for you and I got all the information you need for this right here. I'll also have it linked right below in the description, but pretty much for the network name, it's gonna be Binance Smart Chain. So I can just copy that, paste it in there. The new RPC URL is gonna be right here. We'll grab that, copy it, 
paste it. And then the chain ID is going to be 56. The symbol is BNB. And then the block explore URL is bscscan.com. And it's saying I have an invalid RPC because I've already set this up. But for you, you'll just go ahead and press the save button when that's all set up. And then you'll be able to see that you have a Binance Smart Chain asset folder right here. And that's what we're gonna be using here on PancakeSwap to buy SafeMoon, Cake, or any other asset that you wanna get on PancakeSwap. So once your MetaMask is set up, we just need to fund it with some Binance coin. If you don't already have a Binance account, which you can see my account right here. And I love Binance because you can get such a wider variety of different altcoins. You can see you can get Doge, Solana, all these other coins that you can't really get on Coinbase and some of these other mainstream exchanges. Now, if you're from the United States, a lot of people aren't allowed to actually get onto Binance. So I'll also have a link down below for a VPN, which is a virtual private network. It's like two bucks a month, but it pretty much hides your computer's IP address. And now my computer's acting as if I'm from Costa Rica, which is a country that's totally fine to use Binance. I'll have the full video tutorial linked right up above. I really highly suggest you check that out. I have the video right here. It got a lot of views and a lot of good attention. And this is how to get a VPN and buy crypto on Binance if you're from the United States. So once you get your Binance account set up, we just need to put some crypto in here so we can swap it for BNB and send it over to our MetaMask. To do that, I'm just gonna come over to my Coinbase account and then we can come down to EOS. I love this coin because there's no transaction fee when you send it into Binance, as opposed to if you're sending Ethereum or Bitcoin, there might be a 20 or $30 fee just to send it. So I would recommend coming into your Coinbase account. If you don't have one, I have the link down below. I would come up to EOS and then I would press buy and sell. And then when you set your Coinbase account, that'll link your bank and everything with it. So I could just say I want to buy $100 of EOS and I would just buy it right then and there. And once you have your balance of EOS, you can come down to this button here that says send. And I would just put in the full amount of EOS that I purchased. And now I can send it over to Binance. So to do that, we're gonna need an address and a memo address. So I'll come back into Binance and type in EOS. And to get to this page where you can see all your different cryptos, you can hover over this wallet button and come down to press Fiat and Spot. And that will show you all the different balances of crypto that you have. So from there, I just typed in EOS. I can scroll down, see EOS right here. I have 10 EOS right now. And when you're looking at your account, you won't have any EOS here. So you're gonna to wanna to press on this deposit button right here. And then these will be your addresses that we're gonna copy into Coinbase and send that EOS into Binance. So I'm copying this first address here, come back into Coinbase, paste it right there. And then there's the EOS memo as well that we need to copy. So I'll copy this and you will have your own individual addresses. Do not copy mine and put them in and send me money. That's happened before and I've given it back to people, but don't copy my addresses. You'll have your own individual address. So I copied my memo finally, paste it in there. And then I can see I have both my addresses. I'll say continue. And then look at that. There's like a 23 cent fee to send this money. And that will arrive right in my Binance account. I can say send now. I'm not going to do it because I already have an amount here in Binance. But once you have your money sent over to Binance, you can go to your wallet balances and scroll down. And for me, my EOS is way down here, but yours will probably be closer to the top. I can see I have my money right here, 105 bucks in it. And once you see you have a balance with EOS, we're gonna go ahead and actually press trade because we need to actually trade our EOS for BNB. And from there, we can finally send it into our MetaMask. I know there's a lot of steps in this and I tried recording this video two other times and I realized I wasn't even screen recording. So if you love that Luke W doesn't give up, smash that thumbs up button and give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far in the video. Now we're gonna go ahead and sell our EOS for BNB. You'll see you have your balance here. You can actually do this little slider, make sure you're on the sell EOS. We're actually gonna be selling our EOS for BNB. Make sure you can see that up in the upper left-hand corner that you're doing the proper transaction type right there. So I'm gonna say sell EOS. I can come down and just say, I wanna sell five EOS or something and that will turn into 0.07 BNB. I can press sell and it will pretty much immediately make that exchange and change your EOS into BNB. Again, I'm not gonna do it right now because I already have some BNB as well. 
And to check that, we're gonna go ahead and hover over the wallet, come down to Fiat and Spot. And just keep in mind, the more steps there are to this and the harder it is to do, that means the less people are actually gonna be doing it. That keeps the price lower for now. And once these coins get introduced to bigger exchanges and it's easier for people, then the price will really skyrocket. You have to do what people won't do if you wanna make big amounts of money. So I came to my wallet here, I can scroll down a bit more and now I see BNB here and you should be able to see your BNB balance cause you just exchanged your EOS for BNB. Now we're gonna go ahead and withdraw our BNB into our MetaMask. And once you get to this withdraw screen, you make sure it says BNB up here and then we're gonna enter in our MetaMask address right here. Now to do that, I can just press on my little Chrome extension guy again, make sure it says Binance Smart Chain up there and then come down and just copy this address right here. Yours might say account one or something like that. This, you just copy that, click on it, and then we can come over here and paste it right in like that. And this says BSC smart chain, everything matches, it's all good. This is the Binance smart chain. That's totally fine. And then I'm gonna say I wanna send the max amount of BNB. And you can see there's a super tiny network fee to send this, which is like 30 cents or something. I went ahead and said withdraw, but I see that I only had $40 in there and I need at least 0.1 BNB to actually send out of here. So I won't do this step. I already have BNB in my MetaMask, but that's how you do it. So just make sure when you're doing this, you're buying at least $100 of EOS and then exchanging it for BNB so you don't get held up here at all. But once you send it from Binance into your MetaMask, we can come over to PancakeSwap again and just click on your MetaMask. You'll see your BNB balance right here. Now we just need to sync our MetaMask with PancakeSwap. To do that on PancakeSwap, it will say connect up here. You just press that, press on MetaMask. It might ask you a couple questions, but your MetaMask will get synced up with PancakeSwap. And then you can also see your balance of BNB right here in pancake swap and that's the currency we're going to be exchanging in for safe moon so we're just going to bypass this little thing right here and i'm going to press on the max amount of bnb i have i want to be able to send that and turn it into safe moon so with that small amount of bnb i have here it will still buy me 895,000 safe moon now there's a couple things you want to keep in mind there's this little slider up here make sure it's on 1.5 percent that's gonna allow the transaction to go through nice and smoothly. And there's another thing that people face when they actually try and make the transaction here. Sometimes it gives them an error message. You wanna come and change anytime you have a zero here at the end of your safe moon balance, just change that to an odd number, something that's not zero. And then the transaction should be able to go through just about every single time. So at this point, I can go ahead and say swap. I'll say confirm swap. And you know it's gonna work when your MetaMask pops up right here, totally fine. I'll go ahead and say confirm. And the transaction has been submitted. I can press view on BSC scan. And this will give me some updated information about what the transaction's doing right now. I literally only spent $8 of BNB to buy that 895,000 safe moon. And now I know my safe moon is completely stored right here. There's one other thing I wanna show you and that's how to actually get a safe moon balance here. Cause when you do this in the beginning, you won't have it here. You actually have to come down and press add token. So you're gonna press add token and you're gonna say custom token and we're gonna copy the token contract address. And to do that, we just come over to SafeMoon on the coin market cap. You should be able to just go to coin market cap, type in SafeMoon right up here. You'll be able to find it. And then right here, it says Binance Smart Chain address. We just copy the address with that little button right there. And then I can click on my MetaMask, come down again, say add token, custom token, paste that in there. It says mine's already been added. But when you do this for the first time, you can say next, and then it will show you you have your balance right there of SafeMoon. And that's your wallet right here. This is your MetaMask. This is where you can store it. And anytime you wanna come and buy more, you can just come in and buy more BNB on Binance, send it into your MetaMask, and it will sync up with PancakeSwap. And then you can just press the max amount you wanna buy here. I'll even do another transaction. I can do that. And I'll say swap, confirm swap, and see, this is the error message you get sometimes if you don't have your parameters set correctly. And see, it shows a zero there, so I need to change that to a one. I'll press swap, 
and it looks like I have an insufficient amount of funds in here. I hardly had any Binance coin in there to begin with. So I'll just come down and reject that transaction. It's no big deal, but that's exactly how you do it, guys. I know this was a pretty intensive type video. If you don't have that Binance account, make sure to watch that tutorial, get it set up, do the things other people won't do, and you'll be rewarded greatly in the future. I really hope again you guys like this video and for those of you who watched it till the end, drop that thumbs up button. It took me multiple times to make this and I'm gonna be editing it down for the next few hours after this. Thanks a lot, subscribe for more and I'll even have a couple of donation links down below. I don't know if you guys wanna do that but that's one of the best things you can do to show support for the channel. I'll have a Venmo and a Cash App down there. I'd really appreciate your donations to keep this channel rolling and growing. And thanks a lot, we will see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.